Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday Night Live with Bill Tucci. Behold his mighty hand. Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang. Tucci gang, Tucci gang. Just want to manage the expectations. Weird. Weird. This is the worst. That was terrible, wasn't it? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Teen Sensation Billy Tucci here, and I'd like to introduce someone to you all. Let's see if she's ready. Thumbs up if she's ready. My lovely wife. Hello, honey. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us, uh, babe. Um, we have a very special show tonight. Um, again, thank you everybody for, for joining us. I, we have uh, past master Dan, Marcus Killigrew, always great to see you, brother. George Bonnie, Mr. Bonnie, Kevin Ryan, good to see you. Tarks Nine, great to see you too. Everyone out there, thank you. And Facebook land too. I'm no longer restricted. So uh, I'm streaming live on the Facebook too for the first time. And uh, just we got a very special show here today. Um, and that's why Deb's joining us. Because this is someone who we, uh, someone who we greatly admire and and love, right? Absolutely. Thirty years They're now, part of our part of our family. Yep, uh, someone who, uh, if you recall, in San Diego Comic Con in '94, we didn't know anyone uh, except for the Politos, but they were really busy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and this great man and his beautiful wife. This guy was really busy too, though. Yes, he was. But yeah, but he came over and said hello. And, and uh, Vijaya was like, oh, I know where you and I've been there, honey, to you. Right. And we got to meet uh, Jeff, Jeff and his wife. And, and ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest cartoonists of the 20th and 21st century, one of the most successful multiple award winner. I don't want to even I don't know if I want to keep going with all this and fill his hair, his head up with any more air. But I want to say one thing uh, before we do um, is that uh, he is a is a tough son of a bitch, I'll tell you that. And he's a fantastic artist, a great friend, um, family, as Danny says, mentor. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, back from the, the dead, if I may, <laughs> the one, the only, Mr. Jeff Smith. What's up, brother? My bell is awful. Hello. Oh, it's so good to see you guys. It's wonderful to see you, Billy. Deb, oh, my love. Boy, am you. I glad to see you. Now, um, tonight we're drinking scotch because it's a very special night. I only drink, this is one of my special glasses that Deborah got me for Christmas. She got me a uh, a, uh, uh, a decanter, beautiful hand-engraved decanter and two glasses. And I don't know if you know, Jeff, but I found out I'm 24% Scottish. How many percent? 24%. 24%. Okay. Jeff, do the... Oh, that's a, sc a scotch. But anyway, so this I have, is a special I have, I, have, I'm, I have a bit of Scottish in me. All right. I have, I have Welsh, English, Scottish, and the Scottish part came in in uh, Canada, North yes. East Canada. Yeah, a lot of Ulster Scots uh, came from there. Yeah. Um, and, uh, well, we have to get you a kilt. Honey, we have to get Jeff a kilt, and he's going to have to go to the Burns night with us at the University Club in New York City. Oh, that, that would be a lot of fun. Oh, hey, Jay, yeah. you guys would yeah. love that. We'll do it. Um, but uh, but this is a special night because, A, Jeff, like I said, boy, am I glad to see you, brother. You gave us a big scare um, when Vijaya told us um, that you went through a spell. I don't know if the people out there, um, but if you may, can you kind of, you know, would you mind telling what happened? <laughs> Cause all right. All right. It was it was it wasn't that bad for me. I don't remember any of it, but it was a I certain it was terrible for Virginia. Um, basically, on a Sunday morning, on whatever it was, August 13th, I got up and I went downstairs and I was doing a little exercise, very gentle exercise. Uh, Vijay was still upstairs reading the paper and having some coffee. And I went into the kitchen to get some water. 
And we have, you know, a little water filter thing there that makes, I was uh, filling the water up, and she heard me drop the glass. It hit the floor, smashed. But then she waited to hear me start swearing. Yeah. And, I, and then when I didn't swear, she said, that's strange. I didn't go, fucking cup. Yeah, yeah. She was running downstairs. She goes running downstairs, and I am on the floor, and I am out. And I can't even imagine if I found her like that, which you might have, Billy. We haven't really talked about that that much. But if she, if I found her that way, I might have been. I might. I mean, I can't even imagine the panic I would have gone through. But she, she called the emergency squad, and the fire station is literally three blocks from our house. So they were there right away. They got on. They were. Like, she was on the phone waiting, and they're like, "Keep pump, keep putting this chest, keep in this chest." And then they came in and they took over and they worked on me apparently for a while. I don't know anything about it. I wasn't there. Gone. You were and gone. I, yeah, but you were was, literally gone. Was, the jail was like, you were dead, dude. But they got me into the ambulance. They got me to the hospital and they revived me. Uh, they, I, they did have to do some angioplasty. They put two stents in my heart. Uh, and I was surprised when I learned this later because I have been really active and careful about what I eat. But apparently, when you're in your teens and 20s and all you eat is McDonald's every day, mm. that's you're building up this danger. So be careful. Mm. Um, it was, but it was, it was a crazy thing. And I don't, I don't remember, I, I have no many, I have no idea how many days I was out but as soon as i got to the hospital they immediately started filling me with crazy drugs just drugs 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 to just keep me out um and i don't know much about it if we could ask for jay but she doesn't want to talk about it yeah i think yeah i can uh, blame her I do yeah, and, and, uh, yeah well and, and, and also she's she had it while she was taking care of me for a month or two we had a Kickstarter going, which fortunately we got it launched. But um, all my 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 team made it work, so it was all good. But uh, now now she has it's all her problem now. She's got to do fulfillment and yeah. put it all together. So of she's course, Jeff, that's the easy part. You know, oh yeah, that's, that's the hard stuff. stuff. Yeah, that's the hard just, stuff. I'm just going to go back, to, I'm go back to the hospital now. Come on. No, but like, because I remember when, when, when Vijay had told us and, but she had said, uh, and for, unfortunately my stepfather, um, uh, who basically raised me, he died of cardiac arrest. And when you had said, when she had said that you suffered cardiac arrest, that's not a heart attack. That, no, that was, and that was really scary. I mean, like. I always thought that a cardiac arrest was just another name for a heart attack. I'm 63 years old. And I thought that. And then they're like saying, no, that, that is not, no, a heart attack can cause a cardiac arrest. It is bad. I mean, everything shuts down. Your brain is cut off from oxygen, blood. Your heart is done. It's really, really bad. Thank God Vijay was right there. Yeah, she got right on the phone, and those those emergency team was right there. Uh, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. Well, we're again, we're really, really happy to see you. Uh, like I said, it was a terrifying thing. You never want to see anyone go through that. And Deb, we're gonna have to. She went off camera. We're gonna have to get buy a J of some drinks next time we see her. <laughs> she's gonna. Yeah, be oh, <laughs> You know, because it was so so surprising because you you have been in such great shape for years now. You know, you're 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 thin, you're, you're thin, but you're you're in great shape. You look great. You, look, you know, you 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 look the same you looked when I first met you. Um, and uh, that's what's it's weird. It's like, like you said that that time bomb of us eating McDonald's and and garbage. You know, all through our twenties and teens and all and. Thirties and forties, yeah, thirties and forties. So, uh, but, yeah. I, but, Jeff, but I got to tell you, you you really are the the the, the comeback kid. Um, it was. Uh, a, I'm glad to be back. 
I, I am told that it was a close, close call. Yeah. And I just yeah. want to read this. We got a super chat, Jeff, um, from So Lazy. Thank you, So Lazy. Uh, uh, for $25. Man, that ain't Thank cheap. You. Thank you. The interview with Roy Thomas and the rest of the bros was awesome. You got to get Shooter, Jim Shooter next. Absolutely. Um, we, we're planning on, get, on bringing Jim Shooter on. Heck, I'd love to have Jim and Roy on together. Um, we Real quick, Jeff, uh, last week, if you recall that that interview in 1990s that Gary uh, did from at the Comics Journal with Jack Kirby, oh yeah, and it was very controversial and all, and we just did a show on it covering that um, because I'd read it way back 30 some odd years ago, and then something happened and we just revisited it, and you know that you, you could just see the the how sad it is and the bitterness that was in um, Jack's yeah, voice, yeah. and and I mean he is in my opinion. Um, and Roy said the same thing. He's the greatest combo artist of all time to me. Yeah. Um, I, I'm in. Yeah. I, I, and, have, uh, a, I have a very small pantheon. Here, but Jackson, mm -hmm. Jackson. Yep. Jackson. And he's definitely Mount Rushmore right there with a few others, you know. Um, but uh, he, uh, you know, so we wanted just to to go through it and to see it because there's a lot of stand bashing lately. And, and we didn't take any sides. And Roy Thomas, who'd been there since 1965, sent a, a really nice – very involved interview uh, uh email to me that he wanted to come on and discuss it so it was me yeah, aaron, yeah me aaron lapresti graham nolan um uh rt bear andy smith and uh dan fraga so we would it was nice to engage and have a conversation with roy thomas actually it was just andy smith and i and uh and graham nolan and roy just said this is from what i recall this is from what i saw and yeah you know, broke it down and it was very interesting marvel in the 60s and you know, it's you see, uh, you know what they did to Kirby and all too, and it just sucks. And so I do your own damn books, man. You know, I think we we should we should count ourselves very lucky that we've done this that this time. And I'm happy nobody would hire me. <laughs> so well, uh, well, this this new this new Kickstarter I'm doing, which is mm -hmm. reprinting the comic strips that I did in college, which were basically bone. Um, it was the first my first attempt to track the story, although it was called Thorn. Uh, but my goal was to get into the newspaper syndicates. And after the three years, and it was a pretty popular comic strip at, at this giant Midwestern university, but I couldn't sell it. And it was, it was heartbreaking. I so wanted to do a comic strip. I wanted to do, be on the page with Gary Trudeau. Bill Watterson was just selling Calvin and Hobbes at the same time I was trying to sell bone. Uh, and I just, I was, I just got stopped at every, every chance. So I was heartbroken, but looking back, I'm grateful that they did that because fuck them. I, they gave me my life. I have had such a better experience in the world of comics, in the world of self publishing comics, indie comics, I mean, I could have never made the name I made for myself in, in all over the world in different languages, not even talking about money, but money was way better than what I would have made there. Maybe, maybe, but maybe. it was good, but I, I'm much happier. I thank the syndicates for being assholes. Yeah. Yeah. And here's, you know, thank God for small favors, right, honey? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> God bless the broken road. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, speaking of that, Jeff, um, you know, that, so here you have this strip. You're, you're, you're at the um, Ohio State, right? Ohio State you're at? Right. Right. You're at Ohio State. And then you approach, say, the news, the, the, the school newspaper, and you had an idea for a strip because this is what yeah. you want to do. You want to be a cartoonist. And you yeah. start forging how, what's the, the catharsis of Thorn that started the strip forms and this story you had? Did you, have you had this, this, epic story since you were a child you know how tell us a little bit about the background of thorn and then we'll launch into the campaign okay the uh well the background of thorn was not the the story that eventually happened in bone happened when i did bone i wasn't in thorn i had the characters now the characters came before the I even did the comic strip i I've been drawing phone bone since I was like five years old. I don't know why this little <laughs> weird big nose character 
who loved, who just was like a, a captive to women. Um, he was a, he was in love with every woman he ever met. And <laughs> he and and that little character went with me all the way through elementary school, middle school, high school, and um, it was but but somewhere in the middle school high early high school range, I discovered fantasy. I discovered Tarzan and Conan the Barbarian, the the books, the prose books. Um, Doc Savage, and yeah. you know who did the covers of those? Sabana, Frank Frazetta. Oh, Frazetta's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frazetta. That and okay, so I'm a. I mean, as a like eleven year old kid or whatever, seeing these muscly men and these women with their beautiful butts and 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 they're all under attack by giant monsters and animals from the jungle and. Oh, it was so exciting. I I kind of pivoted from my love of animal, funny animals, which is what I had been doing my whole life. I always loved Uncle Scrooge by Carl Barks. I loved uh, the Bugs Bunny cartoons that mm -hmm. were on Saturday morning. Uh, uh, Pogo by Walt Kelly, probably my biggest guiding light. I was into talking animals. But when I discovered fantasy, I I immediately knew that's the direction I was going. But what's weird, and I didn't realize this until this this book that we just are putting out, and I had to do all this like deep dive and figure out what the hell was I thinking. It, it turns out that I it, it's weird that I developed a fantasy world, but I kept my childhood three-fingered, big-foot, big-nose cartoon characters, very American, and and stuck stuck them in there. Yeah. And, and so that's what it was. So that's what Thorne was. And the comic strip uh, in college was me figuring out what are these fantasy characters going to do with the bones? I called it Thorne, but it was really about everybody in the cast. It was just the same thing as Bone. Hmm. With one big difference, Bone, and I only, I, I didn't know this ahead of time. I didn't remember this. I didn't know this. I, I when we finally decided we're going to do this, we're going to do a Kickstarter, we're going to collect up all those comic strips. I said, well, now I have to read all those strips. Oh. And I hadn't read them in 40 fucking years. And I, and some, there was this guy in, in Germany, uh, Guido Weishan. He's like a comics scholar, expert. He collected, somehow he got them off the internet and sent them all to me and asked me a bunch of questions. And I said, dude, we're just about to do a book of this. Do you want to be part of it? And he did. But anyway, I got this. Wait, he was able to locate the the the, the Yeah, he, of the, online. Of the yeah, he was able to get every strip from, from wow. three years plus. And I I sat down one morning and I read it and I was like, whoa, I was certain that they sucked. I was positive they sucked. I mean, every syndicate told me I sucked. And I was sure they sucked. But I never I never gave up on the on the characters. But I went back and it kind of sucked. But Whereas <laughs> you're a kid, though you're young, you're a college kid, twenty years old. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing these in a, a newspaper that was read by fifty thousand people a day. That includes staff, you know, professors, and all the kids, all the edu all the students, and they all loved it. It was a it was a hit back then in the early '80s, and I, 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 I so I start reading these things. And they're like, not as terrible as I thought. They're not the current bone. But here's what I thought. Wow. Bone is a novel. Thorn was a variety show. Like the Sunday <laughs> Chair Comedy Hour. Yeah. So, so there's, there is the story. There's still the story of the bones 
coming into the valley. They meet Thorn and Grandma Ben, and there's a rock creature and there's a red dragon. That story is all in this in the in this college strip. But whenever something would happen in the news, like something with Jerry Falwell in the Moral Majority, mm-hmm. Reagan, I would stop and do that. And this, I could not believe this when I reread this. Thorn knew about those things. She knew that she was a comic strip. She knew that there was a President Reagan. And she knew that about women's lib and equal pay, all that stuff. It was it was really weird. So so that's what it is. Bone is a, Bone is a novel like the Odyssey or the Lord of the Rings or Moby Dick, but mm-hmm. Thorn is a comedy hour. <laughs> that's terrific. So uh, and, Jeff, real quick, uh, and we got it from Brian Bunn. Thank you, Doctor Blevins. Best advice ever. Fuck him, Jeff Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so Jeff, you, you, you're, you're a freshman, I would assume at, you know, Ohio state university, very smart man to get in Ohio state though, too, honey, huh? Cause we're going through mm. that now at colleges. Look at you. I was a freshman for four years. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Jeff, did you approach the school newspaper? Like I have an idea for a strip. Can I, can I contribute yeah. to the magazine and, and to the, Absolutely. I actually out of high school, I got a scholarship to the Columbus college of art and design, which is actually a really well thought of art school and it, and they're very good they didn't quite understand nowadays cartooning is totally understood by them so i'm, I'm talking about 40 years ago or something mm. they did not understand and they thought cartooning is you know it's this bastard child of newspapers and art and so i lost interest in them because <laughs> they'd already lost interest in me. Yeah. And and right across town, right across High Street was Ohio State. And they had this student newspaper that had, it was like a readership of like 50,000. Like, and their comic strips in there were terrible. Oh. They were terrible. So I'm like, well, I'm going to fuck this other school, this art school. I'm going to yeah. go over there and I'm going to, Give it a go. And my best friend from like elementary school, Jim Cameron, who um, now is like a, he's like directs animated movies. He's done a bunch of oh, Disney wow. sequels and stuff. Jim Cameron. He, he and I were roommates at the time and, uh, and neither of us were going to school for a period of time. We were working in on loading docks and in bookstores. And uh, I met V, I met Vijay my wife at that same time and she was going to go to osu in the fall and we went they got the lantern there we could get her jim and i were like we could get our comics in there that might be pretty cool so we followed vijaya into um, osu and i just i just worked up like two weeks worth of strips i took them into the the journalism building and talked to the editors i showed them they seemed to like them it was um it was a combination of all the heavy, heavy metal stuff that I had brought into the bone world, but it was calmed down. It was no longer like a, it wasn't like a Corbin comic anymore. It's more like a cross between Walt Kelly and Gary Trudeau. So they loved it. They said, we're going to pass these around to the other editors and we'll get back to you in a couple of days. I heard from them. I was in on September 20th, 1982. I went and got my copy of the lantern and opened up to page seven. There it was. The first printed drawings of foam bone and thorn. Wow. Well, I was so excited. So excited. That's incredible. Do you have those strips or did you give them to the school? I like- did. Well, no, I, I gave them to the Billy Ireland cartoon mm-hmm. library and museum. Uh, that's been there. That had started like maybe a year before I got there. And that's a great thing, Billy. Man, you got to see it. You got to come to CXC. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Yeah, because the whole bone collection is there too, right? You you donated the The whole bone collection, the the lantern stuff, and the bone stuff is there. Um. Anyway, that's that is a thank you. Hello, Scott Phelps. Good to see you from Facebook. He's greeting and salutations, Dead Billy and Jeff. Yes. Well, Jeff, let's look into this campaign because you've got a. You've gone up like over a thousand dollars or more since we went live, and you know the Kickstarter just keeps going. And I'm like, so let's look at at the campaign, and uh, it is. Uh, 
I am just so happy for you. This is I'm happy for me. A monster, bro. <laughs> Especially with all that you've gone through in the past few months. Look yeah. at this. You have 15 hours ago, you're well over 3,000 backers, and you're over $314,831. Hang on. Let me get the – hang on a second here. Hang <laughs> on one second. Deb, you're going to love this one. You ready, Deb? I'm ready. Yes, yeah. Look at that, honey. Does that turn you on? That's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Jeff, this is this is wonderful. Um, you know what's wonderful is having Deb here. I know, because, I know. She's so tired. You, she's been she's been fulfilling you, books, packing books Deb, all day. <laughs> you, me, and Deb and Vijaya. The uh, the first year you showed up at San That's Diego. That's how it all started for us. Yeah. Yeah, that's that was it. We were like, these guys are cool. These guys are true. We were like, we were like deer in the headlights, and you kind of just calmed us down. <laughs> yeah, <I> did. <laughs> that's unusual. <laughs> like it's all right. We do this too. <laughs> Look at the yeah, headlights. Just... just run right at them. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm so I'm so happy, Deb. Here, good to see you. Yeah. Ooh, a well, Jeff we're happy, so happy you're here. Yes, we're really happy you're here. But Jeff, this is wonderful. Let's get into your video real quick. Um, and uh, and let's just talk about, like I said, getting to Thorn a little bit. And then I know you've had a, an exhausting day. Um, <laughs> you've had a rough couple of months. But uh, let's check out the video, brother. Hello, I'm Jeff Smith, the creator of the graphic novels Rassel, Tukey, and my favorite, Bone. I'd like to welcome you to our second Kickstarter, this time for Thorn. Most people know that Bone started as a comic book back in 1991, but very few know that Foam Bone, Phony Bone, Thorn and Grandma first appeared in print almost 10 years earlier in a daily comic strip I did in college called Thorn. The Thorn strip appeared five days a week in the pages of the Ohio State University student newspaper, The Lantern, from 1982 to 1986. Some were reprinted, a very few amount of them were reprinted in 1983 in a book called Thorn, Tales from the Lantern, which brings me to why I'm here. 2023 is the 40th anniversary of that collection, which was our first, Vijayas and my baby steps into self-publishing. And to mark the occasion, we're publishing our most requested item, The Complete College Strips of Thorn. We worked with the Billy Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum, where the originals are kept to rescan, restore the strips back to their original state, and they look fantastic. One of the fun things I discovered is that in the comic strip, Fomo and Thorne discuss current events out in the real world. I was surprised by that. What was even more surprising is the things they're discussing are a lot of the same kind of things, the issues that we're still discussing everywhere today. <laughs> Thorn will be released in a hardcover edition exclusive to Kickstarter, as well as a softcover mass market edition. We'll also have tiers for our retailers, including an exclusive cover, which is special for the campaign. And for our collectors, we'll be offering original art as well as uh, the 1983 original edition of Thorn Tales from the Lantern. Along with a host of other goodies, such as signed prints, enamel pins, laser etched bookmarks, and more. Digital edition will be ready and distributed in time for the holidays, so this will make a terrific item for gift giving. We hope to begin shipping the physical books rewards in May of 2024. We'll post regular status updates to let you know how the project's coming along. We had an incredible experience with our first Kickstarter, and we're excited for you to join us on this next adventure. Welcome to Thorn. That's excellent. Fantastic. Excellent. You know what I, I love about it, Jeff, is you could see the evolution and you know and but a lot of it like grandma ben i think and and the, the red dragon like they were spot on you almost, know you, almost when you see the real book grandma doesn't have her big famous chin oh she does she's missing the chin she it by the end by the end she has it yeah but the dragon looks pretty much the same Thorn changes quite a bit. She's much prettier, I think. But that's more about my ability to draw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like I said, this what a collection. I, we're proudly we proudly backed it. Um, like I said, I man, it's just 
just beautiful. Like again, we we were big fans of your work when we saw it uh, when we first met you, and I had heard of you, of course. Um, and uh, it, it was just blown away by again, like your just your storytelling, the story itself. You're creating this epic. I think you're putting out by every other month. Um, man, hitting them deadlines, getting that bad boy out, bro. Like she's. And yeah, for 12 years, I'll tell you what, it was interesting to me to watch this is that I'm not in that film. And the reason is that I had just, I think I had just come back from the hospital to do that film. We were launching the Kickstarter right after I had the heart attack. But, and I, I looked like shit. I couldn't. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I mean, if anybody sees this, they're going to go, good God, I'm not buying that book. <laughs> I look bad, man. So uh, that's why you don't, that's why I'm not visible on that in the video. Well, you look great now, brother. And and you could see, look, yeah, you could see how she's, I mean, she's really cute here and everything, but you could see how she changed. She, she get, I, I, I got much better. Yeah. And uh, now is this, is this so an illustration drawing, by drawing, you? Right? That drawing right there, that's the yeah. first drawing I did when I, after my heart attack, I came back to the house and I hadn't done that drawing yet. And that's, that was my first drawing. And believe me, the doctors weren't sure I was going to be able to draw again, but I did that drawing and I sent it around to cartoon books and Kathleen wrote me and went, you still got it, boss. <laughs> nice. 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 So you guys are hitting all of these you know, you you guys are hitting all your stretch goals. You're hitting all, you know, you've got these fantastic tiers. Oh, so I see you're doing retailer packs. That's something I wanted to bring up with you. Yeah. Um, we have yet to do that ourselves. Well, um, it's not. Let's see how many people have. have let's see. Find that in the pledge amount. Yeah, see I will. Yeah. I, I don't think it was as many. It wasn't as many as I thought it would be. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, let's see the retailer pack. Here we go. Retail okay. five at 26. 26. Yep. So um, well, hang on. the last time I saw it. So that's good. Okay. Well, hang on one second. We have a, a, a special guest um, joining us all the way. Where'd they go? They were just on and then they disappeared. Hang on. Someone's here. Someone's in the back room lurking. Okay. Okay. All the way, I believe, from Amsterdam. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Miss Amanda Connor. From Amsterdam, Amanda. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? I, am, I am here. That's all I can say. Yes. Actually, I'm doing yes. very well. I'm doing very well. What, you're in Amsterdam? No, I'm in Utrecht, which is about a half an hour south of Amsterdam. Oh. And oh, I'm being, cool. I'm talking quietly because it's like two thirty in the morning here, and I don't want to oh. wake up the hotel guests that are. I won't do anything to accept them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do, people. This is what we do. No, so I when I told I told Amanda uh, and Jimmy that you were coming on, and and we've all been, you know, we talk about you all the time, so we're all worried about you. And uh, so, and thank you, man. I know it's two thirty a.m. <laughs> so, oh, it's so good to see you, Amanda. It's good to see you. It's really good to see you. Well, it's so. good. <laughs> <laughs> we, had a, we had a we had a big. It was a big flop. It was bad. <sighs> yeah. But you're here, and that's good. That's the but yeah, every now, every now and then. Maybe every other day, at least once a day, but Jay will just look at me and go, I can't believe you're here. I can't believe you're here and you're talking. I had, I had doctors say, Thank the good I, had Lord. Doctors, I had doctors say, I can't believe you're talking. And I'm like, What the fuck? Oh my <laughs> God, dude. Like, what, what happened to me? It was big. It was big. Wow. Did, thank God for Vijay. I did not. I don't remember it. Don't She's remember. awesome. Yeah. She Amanda, awesome. We, we owe her a drink. Maybe you ladies could take her out for a drink when we're all together at a show. Okay. Let her roll up steam or I'm something. In. She needs a few bottles, <laughs> not just a drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, a drink or seven. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to surprise you down there. I think we should just show up down there and, and like, hey, like on a Friday, like, let's go. <laughs> 
But Amanda, yeah. did you did you see uh, Jeff and Vijay's newest Kickstarter for Thorn? It's you know? awesome. It, it is. It, it, it's it's so exciting. It's unbelievable. Really... The complete proto bone college strips, nineteen eighty two to nineteen eighty six. Three hundred and fourteen thousand dollars and eight hundred and six, brother. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. It's just very you know. proud of you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And I can't believe it. I mean, I've been hiding these strips. I got talked into it by uh, my staff. They were like, because well, we had a good Kickstarter last year with Tukey, and they were like, "You've let's do the college strips." I don't know if they heard something or I don't know, but I was like. No, they're terrible. They're absolutely terrible. But they talked me into it. I don't know how. And I'm really glad they did. Uh, yeah. You know, artists are always their own worst critics. And they're probably way better than you think they are. They they, are, they were better. I mean, they weren't. They weren't that great. They were, <laughs> but they were way better than I thought they were. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it looks great. This tw the twenty year old lark, one. Jeff Smith, just a just a mere a mere lark. Wait, wait, wait go back, go hold, hold on, Billy, go back to that. Yeah, those things in the middle, those three little things in the middle. Mm -hmm. Those are little tablet sized pads that I had when I was a kid. <laughs> They're all like pink or something, and I drew comics on them with phone bone, phony bone, and smiley bone in all three of them. And the third one, if you can see it, it's. Phone bone meets Mel Brooks. Yeah, Mel Brooks. That's what it says. <laughs> it is. I, 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 I just, I was, I was overwhelmed by. That was right when he had his little run of Blazing Saddles. Yeah. Young Frankenstein, silent movie, and I just yeah, was. I, I thought he was the best. Yeah. Didn't History of the World Part Two come out? I think in '82. Yeah, yeah. In, well, I don't know about the history of the world part two, but part well, one. Well, is that what they called it? History of the world part two. Yeah, but it just came out I think, a couple of years ago. Oh, I thought no, the original, original was called was history of the world part one. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I that came out in the seventies. Mm -hmm. That was like the end of his big string of monster hits, mm -hmm. and they did the. <laughs> I, I haven't even read this. I have no idea. I mean, I remember that there are drawings of Mel Brooks in this book. Oh, is he really? Hope he, I hope he takes it well. <laughs> so what are these, Jeff? What are these unlocked stretch goals? Three tablet books. Well, they are unlocked now. They were stretch goals. So these are books I did like when I was like 9 and 12 and 14. 1969, 1972, 1974. And they, my mom had them in a box and I she gave them to me and we've scanned them and we're we're making reproductions of them at the actual size and in the back of the hardcover there's going to be three pockets and those will be in there oh very cool look at it look at these guys look at all that you get well because I also <laughs> think okay what okay Jeff oh I don't know I don't remember yeah. Um, I don't real remember quick, what I, said. I, don't. I got we have a a, a ten dollars super chat from Bob Gable. Thank you, Bob. Billy, sorry, but does everyone else see eight hundred and ten likes for every video? I'm eight hundred and eleven again. You have fifty two live views and eight hundred and ten likes. Wow. Um, I don't know what that is, but we are also streaming on Facebook, so that's probably where that comes from. Is is from the Facebook? So, um, yeah, that that doesn't kind of show up on the views on YouTube, but the Facebook, everyone's watching it on. Facebook, because we can't get anyone to come over to YouTube. They like watching it on Facebook. But who am I to comp to complain as long as you guys are, wa are, are are watching it? And support this campaign. Jeff, you keep going up, buddy. <laughs> hey, good. Thank you, Billy. I appreciate 3, it. 3,187 backers. Oh, my God. This is a month. Your I poor wife. The last, look at this. The last stretch goal is 3,200 backers. And it's the – so – the last stretch goal was a, a three, a triptych, basically, of my pencils, the inks, and the color. And at 3,200 backers, it unlocks the color cover. And what was it? Go back up there. What, how many? Yeah, I want to. Yep, that's what I want to do. 3,187 all right, backers. All right, we are, we are 13 Thir backers 13 away. away. 13 humans. Away from unlocking this, 
<laughs> and we still have 15 hours to go. <laughs> oh, come on, Pete. Yeah, you're going to do it. And uh, oh, so Amanda, did you know that Jimmy Pomiati is in the ch is in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> is he? Hey, is he Jimmy. really? This is, is so. See, just on. are you awake in there? Did you guys get your own hotel rooms? Look at that, honey. They get suites when they travel. <laughs> it's be nice. Well, it's like the the desk is in a separate hallway, and it is it's it's kind of it is it is a nice it's it's a nice room. It's got a bathtub in it, like in the middle of the room. Yeah, <laughs> gotta love it. Hey, so when I was when I was in Amsterdam, I stayed at. Um, What's the name of the comic book store? The really cool comic book store. I, I don't remember, but they they put me up in a hotel in a, a, a an apartment room they had. And nice. I went up there, and they it was just I was it was like being in a comic book collector's attic. It was <laughs> comics and statues of that little <laughs> leopard guy with the crazy tail and. Uh, <laughs> And the, hey. and the bathroom was right in the middle of the apartment. So you had to take a shower. That's crazy. It so, was. Hey, Jeff, um, real quick, yeah. uh, Amanda, honey, what's the restaurant or the or our greatest dining experience we've ever had? Wasn't that in Amsterdam? Yes. The golden no, it was Eagle. in Paris. Eagle. No, no, the, the one that we had in, in, in Amsterdam. It was called what, honey? The Golden Spiegel and the Silver and Spiegel. It was the Golden Silver. It was this tiny little restaurant, and it was phenomenal. So the, the, translated, it was the Golden Mirror and the Silver Mirror and oh, the, the mirror, Silver right. Mirror. Oh. So there was a sil there was a Golden Mirror over the bar, and then the restaurant had about six tables in it, but a beautiful Silver Mirror in it, and. The menu was you didn't order your dishes, you ordered by how many courses you wanted. So wow. you could have a three course meal, a four course meal, a five course meal, a six course meal, or a seven course meal. <laughs> that was the menu. And what did you order? So we opted for the seven course meal because why not? Yeah. <laughs> That's how we and roll. It, and <laughs> ugly Americans. Dish, all the dishes were very small. But each one was artwork. It was wow. just amazing. And unfortunately, I don't specifically remember everything that we ate, but there were some things that we'd never eaten before, which were great to try. But certain things, like you saw, so you, there was one dish that had a some kind of sausage. I don't remember specifically what meat it was, but you expected to see a sausage. And instead it was this dainty little thing wrapped in the thinnest layer of of pastry <laughs> it was like everything was just beautiful and flowers on the on every plate and it was just stunning so if the we ever go back but it's in amsterdam but we were staying in utrecht when we were there and we didn't yeah. we hear this and didn't we hear the story there about the World War II? Yeah, they were hiding a Jewish family in the restaurant, so, the people that lived right. there. When wow. it was a house. Yeah. When it was a house, there was a Jewish family staying upstairs that, that was being hidden, and the the woman or mother passed away. No, the man died. No, it was the woman. Okay. Because and I can remember this because I pictured the story as they were telling telling it. So after she passed away, they had to get her out of the apartment, obviously. So they waited until the middle of the night and they took her out and and put her on the doorsteps of a church. Yeah. And whatever Nazis or whoever Gestapo, were, yeah. The the Gestapo looked at the bottom of her shoes. And noticed that they were dry and it was raining. No, and they were, and they weren't worn, right? Yeah, and they, yeah. Well, more, more importantly, that they were dry. And okay, it, okay. And it had been raining for a very long period of time, so they knew that she didn't walk there. Like that was the giveaway that they all went and started mm -hmm. looking in that neighborhood, but thankfully they had not found. 
yeah. anyone in that place. But it was a very, I'm, I'm not telling it very well. I'm exhausted. Uh, yeah, it was story. pretty good. But yeah, it was pretty... an incredible story to hear firsthand. Wow. wow. Well, Jeff, you are now 11 backers away from unlocking the 3,200 backers. Uh, All right, thank you. Thanks, people. The third and final thank print you. in the triptych. Tom Gant. How's Tom, uh, Tom Gant? Tom Gant. How's Tom doing? Oh, he's doing great. Tell, tell, tell him, tell him we said yeah. hello. Give us, give him our yes, love too. Please oh, yeah. Seen him in a very Tom, long time. Tom and Kathleen, who have been with Vijay and I for over twenty-five Ever. years, forever. They, um, they have just, they have masterminded this and run the whole thing. And at this point, you know, I'm done. I'm like, what's everybody all? Everybody's all like sweating, and I'm like. Yeah, well, we, 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 it was a master hit. We're great. We can, we can. Everybody else is like, we have to ship these now. Ashley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All over the yes, world. Yes, you do. Yeah, you yes, do. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, is, uh, and we're coming to the end. Um, I know we've had you on for closing in on an hour, Jeff, and and Amanda. Thank you for joining us. Um, You're welcome. I just want to say that Amanda, with her having her swanky hotel experience with yeah. the with a bat, <laughs> bat with a beautiful tub, sunken marble tub in the middle of her, it's floor, not <laughs> that we had. Uh, we had an, we we were able to stay at the New York Comic Con. Debbie somehow swung it and got us to stay at the St. Regis Hotel <laughs> in the city where the OK nice. Pool Bar is, and and uh, we took Adam Hughes. Um, uh, and um, um, Ricky, his assistant, and um, uh, Robin and Tony Moore, uh, Robin and Terry Moore, we all went to there and we had a great time. But that place, Jeff, I remember when you were doing when you had the National Cartoonist Society Awards and they yeah, put yeah, you yeah. up. I was gonna, oh, I was gonna tell the story. Yeah, right? yeah. can you tell that story real quick? Just like, holy I, I was going to, and it was, I can't remember what it was like, it was the 95th. Uh, National Cartoon Society Awards, and they move around to different cities every year. Uh, but it's all the it's all the cartoonists. Um, and Charles Schultz was there. Gary Trudeau was wow. there. Every, every all the cartoonists were there. But we when we were checking in, they had screwed up our um, our room, and we didn't have a room. And but they knew that they had screwed it up. So they gave a J and I the presidential suite at the Waldorf Historia. Oh, nice. But it was kind of, it was, it was, so then they, so that, so there's so like these guys coming over going, now you, you can't stay there. You just have to come. You can stay there for the two nights and then you got to go. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not moving to New York. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we got, as soon as we get upstairs, we come. Billy and Deb, get over here. We're in the, there's, there was like, there was like a, there was, there was, it was so huge. I couldn't believe it. It was a giant, it was the biggest thing. And they had, it like, was like the whole top floor of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Yeah. It was and unbelievable. Actually, that's was amazing. amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, there was like, there was like a dining room. There was a kitchen. There was, oh, there was a whole Don't separate. You love happy accidents like that. Oh, it was great. I'm so glad you guys were able to do that yeah. with us. It was very well, well, Jeff, uh, well, Deb was able to swing us to stay at the St. Regis Hotel, trading in all our points for staying at the Marriott every year in San Diego. Not even all of them. <laughs> no, no. And I walk in. So I walk in, I do the show and I walk in and there she is. In her robe, her <laughs> slippers, yes, slippers, drinking tea with milk and dark chocolates next to her. And I'm like, <laughs> what'd you say? Wait, sitting on the sofa that had yeah. been delivered by our butler. A butler that we... <laughs> A power butler. And I'm feeling so guilty because I haven't paid for any of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was, yeah. Thank you, San Diego Comic Con, for all the points that we earned through Marriott, and thank you, Marriott, for buying the St. Regis Hotel. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and then we got a five dollar super chat. Thank you very much. Hang on. Ren Renowns three R O three R O. You guys are old. Yes, we are. Uh, don't you know Eric July? The future. You should Too just bad. give up, man. We I know Eric July. If he's on the other side. Oh, speaking of robe, look at this guy. 
No, I love Eric July. We met Eric July in uh, San Diego. Uh, he had a table right around from us, and then we're known. <laughs> here he is again. <laughs> he is an ex-family. Thank you for those that seven dollar super chat. What's up, Jimmy? <laughs> hey, hey, Jimmy, look who's back, hey. buddy. Good to see you, Jeff. Man, good to see you. It's good to be seen, brother. Yeah, man, <laughs> for real. Good to yeah. see everybody, but you know, especially, especially Jeff. Good to see Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> I was dead a month ago. Oh, jeez, God, bro. Oh my gosh. So now that you have true. a second, I'm not now, that have, now that you have a second chance, what changed? Uh, well, I I was thinking I would like to get into like um, maybe illustrating for magazines instead of this comic stuff. <laughs> Got to pay better, that's for sure. Yeah, it probably pays better. Jeff's going to bring back the golden age of illustration. <laughs> Please do. Yeah. Hey, uh, Mr. Smith, uh, you are now, Jimmy, look at this. You are now over 115,000, and you're nine backers away from unlocking the third. They got 32, closing on 3,200 backers. That's our last stretch goal right there. That's insane. That's so that great, is. man. What well, guys, are, what, every, what is it? What it go back up? How many backers are there? You're nine away. Oh, That's nine, my right? God. You know what? We, 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 we're on. gonna we Thank didn't we didn't really. get back hey, look. Yeah. Jimmy and Amanda are here. Come on, nine people. Yeah, come on, guys. For Jimmy, I don't Amanda, think please. I don't think we got to back it yet. So we'll probably do it. We, I was waiting till we get home. How many days do we have left? You have fifteen, 15 hours. Fifteen hours. Oh no, we got. All right, we'll we'll. We'll do it right now. We'll do it right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Do it now, for You know what? I, no I pressure. Think our, I think oh, ours really? has. Really? When's your thing start? I, I think ours ends, ours ends in ends like in... sixteen hours. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. Yeah, we, I think. I think all we're... Right, you do. All right, you do me. I'll do you. All Ooh. right, I'm gonna let. We'll find Perfect. Jimmy's too. And then Billy wins. Yours, yours hasn't started yet. I don't think. No, we launched, and it's again. It's like you. Oh, I want to get to that real quick. It, uh, for the thirtieth anniversary uh, tour, Jeff, that you were in the middle, you you did like half of it, yeah. and then, you know, that old blockage that. got in the way, and and you oh, you died. Right. So now you're back. Um, any plans to to go back on tour? You know, to 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 any oh, more book signings? Or? Definitely yes, but I haven't. We haven't begun to talk about that yet. Or okay. We we'll have to figure it out. First, we had to go through Vijaya. And Kathleen and Tom had to go through canceling it and dealing with all of that. But yes, but we're definitely going to get back out there. Okay. Well, take your time. We'll all be here. Yes. Okay. We have, we have, we have 13 hours left, but I'm going to back Jeff's right now. So I'm going to do it live. So, all uh, right. All right. So we'll see. Prove it. Watch the ticker. Okay. And then I'm going to post Jimmy's uh, campaign as well. And get it just a little bit uh, closer yeah, to really, that unlocked. Yeah. That and unlocked. we, we, uh, we actually, we launch, I think we're going to launch on, on black Friday or uh, one day uh, in the, early next week. We got to finish the, the video and all that. And it's see, I'm the one, I don't know if Jeff, if you do this or Amanda or Jimmy, but I'm like, let's just launch a black Friday. And Debbie's like, wait a minute. I gotta build all this. I, I'm like, that's easy. Let's just do it. Let's go. And then she's like, "You're out of your mind. Don't you understand yeah, how things yeah, work?" Yeah. And 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 make sure I keep shipping the same time. Yes, <laughs> those books out. Honey. It's like one or the other. I can't do both. Pip pip. Hey guys out there, I also want to say I got my good scotch here for my good glass, and thank you, honey. I want to say uh, um, just a, a a little mention Woo! to a. To a a Go friend ahead. of ours who uh, today is his birthday, a departed friend of ours. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, if if mm -hmm. I can real quick, uh, today is Darwin oh. Cook's birthday. He was born uh, on this day in 1962. And uh, and he sadly, we lost him in May of 2016. But if everybody, if you got a minute to raise a glass to one of one of our very best and someone who we, we all miss so much. And here's you, Dar. I, I don't have a great glass, but you loved Christmas, so I, I will raise a Santa hat. I, I have an empty cup. I don't know if that oh, counts. I don't have a glass yeah. either, but. <laughs> yeah. So, Darwin, so you know, do, you miss you. do you know, like, and I, I wasn't even thinking of his birthday, but I had a dream about Darwin last night. And oh, wow. Well, maybe I, he came to visit you. I, I hope so. I had a dream that we were, like, Jimmy and I were in Nova Scotia, 
and we were like, we're in Nova Scotia, we should call Marsha. And I called Marsha and a male voice answered and I'm like, holy shit, it sounds just like Darwin. And I'm like, who is this? And it's, and the voice said, well, who do you think it is, Connor? And I was just like, oh, oh my God, it's Darwin. And we all met up in a park and, you know, Marsha and Jimmy and Darwin were there and I went over to hug Darwin and it felt so real. It was crazy. So yeah, that I had a, a, a strange Darwin dream last night, right before his birthday. Nah, I think you did. I think you did. He did visit you. Like I hope so. So, uh, but guys, uh, we're closing eight backers away. I just yeah, packed you're gonna it. it. You, you're going to hit it. That should be my backer number number uh, eight. All right, all right, and so I'm close. about to so back close. yours on the hunters. Uh, I appreciate That's it, fine. man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and and our campaign, which will launch and we'll promote that, um, is uh, the the 30th anniversary She Way the Warrior number one. So that's going to launch. It's a 112 page book, and like you, Jeff, I was able to keep all the original art. I have all the original pencils, inks, colors, letters. So we're going to make a nice little book. But I want to thank our guests here real quick, and we're we're going to go back to the. We'll close out with Thorn. But guys, I got the She Senryaku hardcover in. Yes. And it is beautiful. It's 240 pages. Thank you guys so much, Jeff. I flagged your page. It's a beautiful book. And it's I, got I this love is Jeff's that. piece um, that Jeff Smith contributed to it. Jimmy contributed to it. Amanda contributed to it. We have everyone's bio. Where's Jimmy? Jimmy should be right around here. <laughs> and and Debbie there? is shipping oh. these books right now. So thank you guys. Thank you, you guys Debbie. Send your books. We just got them in. What last week, honey? Yes, full eight thousand pounds of them. Yeah. Oh, nice. I saw. I saw the photo of the wow. uh, un unloading the van thing. <laughs> that was nuts. Yikes! <laughs> yeah. Is drawing. Jimmy's piece? So pretty. Oh yeah, I remember that. I, yeah. I have all the original. Thank you guys for. Gifting me the art, unless I bought. I think you guys gave it to me. Thank you. No, you probably stole it's in it. Our studio, yeah, I, I stole it. <laughs> no, I never said. No, it's all hanging on the walls of my studio. And I have Amanda's beautiful piece here, but it's a. But beautiful he won't tell piece. anybody where his studio is, where these walls are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He hides them out. <laughs> yeah, I did. But uh, thank you, guys. Jeff, thank you so much for contributing to. It was a real privilege to reprint this book, and um, you guys are all going to get them. Debbie's uh, knocking them out. Shipping them out. We sent our first batch out today, our first pallet. I employed William to come in and do it. And uh, here we go. Oh, and, and I just, and I just backers away. Yes. Yeah, Let's go to the hunters real quick, guys. If, if, let me do it. Uh, That's it amazing. Really good. It looks really good. You know what, Jeff? You really, de you really deserve it. Yes. All the hard work you put into that. Man. Absolutely. You know, uh, well, thank you for saying that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's true. It's true. Hey, Jimmy, I want to I'm going to uh, show if, if if I can real quick that you, you guys did other uh, hunters, right? Yeah. I mean, you got 12 hours left. You're almost at forty thousand dollars. Right. Um, and, whoop, that's me. Sorry, that was my uh, YouTube, the YouTube. Um, let me share this real quick. Jimmy, you were saying um that. uh it, it, while we got people here watching, give us a little insight on the hunters. I know you were saying that you were a little like, ah, no one, no one wants westerns, but I want to make a western. Um, yeah, it's so it's it, it's it's basically a story about a, a couple. One, the, it's the husband is a uh, a retired bounty hunter, and and he met his wife. She was a sharpshooter at, in a circus, and the basic story is they want to retire. They're heading to San Francisco to retire. This is in the eighteen hundreds, and they get pulled into they they have the chance to walk away from something but both of them follow their instincts and they get involved in it even though it's going to mess with their lives um but they have to stay true to who they are and because of it there's a lot of fallout that happens because of it so it's about a it's about a little bit of an older uh couple trying to just get on with their lives but they trying to also fight their natural instincts and um and of course, in the end, they can't, and they get pulled into something that's way out of their control, um, and they have to deal with the situation. But it's it's 
it's it's it's from told it's it's pretty violent i will say that and it's a, it's a, it's a mature audience's book and chad harden drew it uh who's who we worked with on harley quinn and uh alex and claire colored it who's you know you guys know from uh dc and marvel and uh, jim lee stuff and uh and then amanda did all these graphic uh story breaks chapter breaks that's one of them you see there she did all these little things that represent each chapter in it and it's it's just a beautiful book and, but and it's a western's a hard sell and it's I always finally, and yeah. I finally finished my cover <laughs> oh she finally finished, oh, her, finished uh, cover it, that, <laughs> yeah that's the that's the bill sinkevich cover it's gorgeous i mean it doesn't look like that so yeah bill, 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 bill <laughs> it looks that. like a movie um, yeah, yeah. It does. The, the the book reads like a like a film a, a little bit you know but it's it's me getting to write another western which i love to do and that's chad's cover of the two of the couple and then uh am i allowed to like go like yeah you could plot my cover and you, yeah you can plot hey, your Amanda, cover, your right? cover's done amanda look it's all done <laughs> I'd, I'd rather you pull out the cover what is she Let pulling out? Sure Don't pull out anything, closed. guys. You're in a hotel room. For God. You're in Amsterdam, for God's sake. We, we, we're right where Utrecht. Utrecht, which is a little... Utrecht. U, Utrecht, which is a little south of Amsterdam. Um, here comes Amanda with the cover. Uh, we actually Jimmy didn't know in the bathroom. I know, Jimmy with the bathroom. Jimmy, that's the second time I've seen you in the in the bathroom. We did, the Billy, you did a whole convention, you and I in bathroom. I know. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I think I think we were, were banned from Heroes Con for yes, a couple of years. Yes. That's a hundred percent true. Okay, here's Amanda. Here's Amanda's cover. Actually, I colored it, but uh, yeah, that's oh, the one that we don't go. see on the campaign. Oh wow! Oh nice, beautiful. Wow, it's like the, it's really it's very it's it's more colorful than it appears on the glowy screen. Yeah, yeah. It, like it's a, we we've been working on it while we were uh, traveling, so it's been fun to to do that yeah. and. Uh, yeah, so we're we're pretty proud of it, and uh, you know um, we're happy for what we got on it. Like I said, we knew it was going to be a tough sell because it's a western, and uh, I knew even doing Jonah Hex for over a hundred issues, it never sold very well, even though it was a pretty acclaimed book. And we had guys like Darwin and Jordy Burnett and and, uh, and Billy Tucci and uh, all these amazing people on it, but it was never a big seller. And I, the genre is just a hard sell, so. Um, well, well, happy well, I do. I love westerns. I love mm -hmm. westerns, and this looks like it just takes me back to the '60s. Is those covers? So yeah, Kevish yeah, really, really kind of caught that feel. Yeah. So we we yeah, got I'm you know we got a couple hours left. If anybody wants to, what we had a lot of people cancel. You know, you, you guys know this. The last minute people cancel. But I had like really weird people canceling and making excuses, saying they didn't have any money, and then they, they're canceling like the eight dollar digital version and telling me yeah. that they're having money troubles. And I'm just like, wait, it's eight bucks. It's like a cup of Starbucks. What are you? What are you talking about? You know? Um, yeah. But that happens, Billy. We all know that. Like mm -hmm. last day, last day, people um, usually cancel for. I don't know why they do it. I think they just want to be involved in the campaign and then they run away. The worst is when they uh, what they did this to Jeff Vaughn is that they 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 as soon as the campaign launched, someone bought the cover that I had done oh. for him, and then on the last day they canceled the, the pledge so nobody oh. else could get the cover, oh. and it was like the biggest. I don't like that's if, awful. If you know J C Vaughn, J C Vaughn does that's everything for everyone. He, oh. he does, and it's like oh, and he's like, it is what it. I was pissed. He's like, it is what it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, Stipling it, it, Vaughn, it, thank you, Stip. Uh, says Jimmy Doritos didn't become Doritos selling the one store. Time to go to multiple platforms of crowdfund. Be Doritos. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do that. Um, but like I said, we we uh, this one was a uh, this one was an interesting campaign. Uh, we learned we learned a lot on this one, and I think the next one will reflect what we learned on this one. It's 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 always a process. You guys know that it's a learning process every I was, day. I was just gonna say, don't you find that there's some big lesson every campaign? Like well, I, this one I felt like I felt like we have too many big convention uh, big companies doing kickstarters right now like they're, like like guys like that are they're taking licensed characters and doing kickstarters with them and it drives me insane because the, the whole platform is about creators and then we have i don't want to mention companies going out and taking a licensed character and raising you know hundreds of thousands of dollars on something other people own and you know the creators yeah. aren't getting 
compensate it. It drives me insane. And then they release it, you know, a month later in the in the in the comic stores. Right. And it, 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 that kind of we have a lot of that happening lately, and I think it's hurting a lot of the creators' campaigns a little bit because there's only so much money to go around in this business. You know. Right. I agree. I yeah. Well, let's. What what do you call it, Deb? What kind of money is it? It's. Um, it's what a comics well, it's expend it, it's uh expendable, but I know there's another word for it, and I'm, and I'm luxury tired spending of... something like like you don't it's not essential spending, that's what it is. It's yeah. ancillary, it's maybe. I yeah. said, did I say ancillary spending? Well, we're, we're the expendables next to the big companies, they right? They right. We're, the, we're the expendables actually to them because it's about we, characters, not creators, and uh, for us, it's the opposite. We're, we're the create, you know, we're the people that really are working hard to entertain everybody else, you know? And uh, like I said, we, but it's, it's a whole, it's a whole new learning, learning experience. It, 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 I've been doing this for 20 something and it's still learning stuff each time. It's exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, please note that of how much work, you know, these creators put into all their projects, how expensive it is with shipping and everything. So much stuff we don't even it's include in it. Right when now, we, when it's we ridiculously include. expensive. Debbie's like, you know, just like the stretch goals, they, they all cost way more money than you think they do. And uh, but Jimmy and Amanda, you, you're closing on on 40 grand. You got 12 hours to go, man. I don't know. 800 backers. You got, I'd be pretty happy with it. I know it's a Western. And I remember when you told me about it, you're like, I don't know how well it's going to do. But, you know, this is a story I want to get out. This is you're building up the paper films universe. We are really, really happy. We're we're grateful for for all the people who backed it. Yes, those seven hundred ninety four people. We personally <laughs> want to hug them all. I'll make sure I have a full shirt on next time. Um, yeah, thank but, you, uh, Dan Genovese, the great Dan Genovese. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but and uh, but we'll put the we'll put the link into the description or into the comments. I think we can put in the in the description anymore. But. Let's well, uh, we hit it. We'll hit it. We're here to support Jeff because Jeff yep, is like I said, is, uh, Jeff. And and again, Jeff Smith, the comeback kid. My goodness, here you are. Oh, Jeff oh, Smith. oh, you three. oh there you go. Nice, nice. Thank you. There you go. Oh, and Deb. Well, it's all over <laughs> now. You're not gonna get it. no, but uh Jeff, thank you so much. Jimmy and Amanda, I know thank you guys for coming up to for getting up in the middle of the night. Um you again, Jeff, we all wanted to see you. We didn't want to yes. bother with Jaya, um, but she's been keeping us in the loop with texting, with you know, with text messages. Oh, wait, like yeah. oh, oh, I, how many emails I sent to different people asking how you're doing mm -hmm. instead of bothering your wife? Yeah, I like I like Terry Moore and and uh, Colleen, and I just go, did you hear anything? Is he doing okay? You know, we, we're trying to narrow it down because you know, um, like I said, you don't want to bother the person. That's has that's going through stuff, you know. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, Virginia, I think this was worse for Virginia than for me, because I was they they had me on so many drugs. I don't even remember the first. Week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the heart attack. I don't remember the ER. I don't the first wow. week. I, mean, I was sudsed. I was gone. See, Jeff, and you said you always wanted to experience the '60s. Well, I guess you did. You have now. Yeah. Did Did, did you get a sponge bath from the, a nurse? I, if I did, I didn't get to enjoy it. I don't know. <laughs> I I did. I like would like I would get up in the middle of the night and like walk out into the hallway and go for a walk. And yeah. I don't remember this. And eventually fall down on my face, on my head. Oh, yeah. and they, had, they had to give me like they had to scan my head. And I don't remember any of that. They just oh. told me. About it. Wow. Well, so, welcome back to the land of the living. We're yes. so glad to have you. I back. am back. I am back. <laughs> and we need. Two more people. Two backers. Two backers. Two away. backers. Two. So yeah. close. You know, it's weird. Weird, Jeff. The last time I saw you was by the uh, Marriott pool having yeah. a drink. <laughs> that was at the San Diego Comic Con. Not counting. Wait. Oh yeah. That was yeah. the last time I. Do saw you remember you. that, Jeff? I do. I do. <laughs> was I in my hospital gown? <laughs> no. He got out. He's, he's out. <laughs> Jeff, that could be your new look. You can get a lot of sympathy. You just wear the hospital gown to all your appearances now. All your with, with yeah. your butt sticking out. They were so they were so mean to me, man. I, I thought I was like a over the cuckoo. Oh look who is! Grab me! Oh look who is! There's a strip back in the bed. I'm like, okay, what the fuck is wrong with you people? 
Yeah, would you say that you got Deb back just went to the bathroom? You tried to go to the bathroom in the middle well, yeah, of the night? Yeah, I tried night. to go to the bathroom and like, <laughs> I got I got my own room with one bed and, and a bathroom. I started to get out of bed. I don't know what time it was. It was after midnight. And as soon as my foot hit the floor, <clears throat> the door opened up. Four big guys, big orderly guys come in and go, grab me and go, get back in bed, Mr. Smith. Whoa. <laughs> What do I just have to go to the bathroom? Get back in the bed now. And I'm like, really, I have to go. And then and I'm they're like, I'm like, seriously, stop. Oh, they forced me down, drugged me up, stuck one of those ventilators back because they, they overdrugged me. I almost died then again. They stuck one of those <laughs> oh things in your bed things in your And um, oh, it was bad. It was, it was like you were in a sex club in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> With an alien theme. <laughs> well, Jeff was saying it was like one flew over the cuckoo's nest because he's like, I feel good. Like, no, 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 no. Like, like he's crazy. He's losing his mind. You're like, no, I feel pretty good. I want to walk a little, yeah. right? <laughs> wow. Crazy. Yeah, no, oh, look, look, it just went up again. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Hey, there it is. Yay! Right. Hang on, I, got this. I got this right here. Oh, hang on. Hey, you go. I would not. Hey, somebody take it. Have somebody do a screen catch. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, let's do a screen cap of it. Thirty-two hundred. Quick. Uh, I don't know how to do a screen cap on a uh, Blevins. How do I do a screen cap on a piece? I got it. Hold on. See it. Oh, she's got it. Nobody pledge for a second. I get it. <laughs> Nobody pledge. <laughs> no, you can play. Go ahead. You can do it. Yeah. I got it. I'll send it to you. Okay. You. Congratulations, Jeff. Thank you. Well done, brother. Thank you guys for helping support this campaign. What a again, this is a real privilege, a real pleasure, and a real joy. Jeff, we're it so is happy really to have this this Kickstarter the system set up. It's an an amazing thing, and I would have never tried it except for you guys talked me into it. You kind of were like, you got to try this. I'm so glad I did. It's yeah. really made it great. We're glad you I did. Bet, it I too. bet you are. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, think of all the stents you can buy for your heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need some more stents after this. <laughs> I guess you and Vijay are going to Sizzla. Yeah, Vijay and I, we're going to go celebrate at the Sizzla. Yeah. <laughs> Did he say, is, is, that, is that Outback? Is there really an Outback by you? No, no. Out, oh. no <laughs> outback. Yeah, you're right. It's Outback Steakhouse. But we, Vijay always called it outhouse steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it just rolls off the tongue. So. <laughs> well, Jeff, congratulations again. We're really here. The comeback kid, man. We're so glad you're here. Um, you gave us all a scare. Don't do that anymore. No I, more. I, I, hate that. I won't. I won't. And I think we're all going to have to surprise you. Not we will not really surprise you. Like, no. Yeah. Ah! No, yeah, no. No surprises. But I think, honey, we all. I think uh, Jimmy, Amanda, Deb, we got to plan a secret uh, little uh, intervention with Jeff and head down yes. there. All right. Take him out to the beach and sit on the beach and have a drink and just talk about life. Hey, what? hey, we're hey, hey. Seriously, we're here down in Key West till like next May. You guys we're there. Come you are <laughs> well, we're in. We're we in. have we we're have in. five bedrooms, five bathrooms, a Damn. swimming pool. You are welcome to come. You're I, a drive I'm away, in. so we're in. Thank, thank you for right. on that. Yeah, right. well, Jeff, our son is our son's a senior, and he's going to his last season of wrestling, and his mother's going to need a vacation <laughs> after it's over. <laughs> I, I, you know, whoever, I, whoever no, no, just, 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 just give, give, give us a shout. We're totally into you know, it. It was so much. Deb, fun. I saw the dog, and I thought you turned into a werewolf for a second. I was like, "What the hell happened?" <laughs> She's very uh, big, and when she decides she wants to do something. She does. A, yeah. um, a very sexy werewolf, might I might say. <laughs> just, just so you know. <laughs> well, guys, uh, uh, thank you all again, Jeff. We went over. You're, you're awesome, brother. Love you, pal. Uh, Here's to you. Um, and again, guys, remember Darwin Cook on the anniversary of his birthday. Jeff, we love you, you buddy. Soon, Congratulate. Sorry, I'm sorry, Jeff. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just. I was just saying thank you, and I, I hope to see you guys. I, that was a sincere in, invitation. If you guys want to come down to Key West, just contact us, and we'll work out some time. There's, there's plenty of room here. Okay. okay.
I'm going to bed. <laughs> don't twist, don't, don't threaten me with a good time. Thank you all. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna head out. Please, guys, look at the at the uh, the the subscription for Thorn, the complete proto bone college strips, 1982 to 1986. He's unlocked a ton of stretch goals. He got a bunch of great, great. stuff. This is one of the good guys in comics, as are yep. these two beautiful people down here and my darling wife. Love mm -hmm. you guys. Love you all in the chat. Thank you. And um, we'll see you guys soon. Um, okay. let, me, let me find my little uh, end, end screen. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, Jeff. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye, Bye, everybody. Hey, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again.